Tell me when. Okay. Um, start with this pig heart. Okay, make sure you know the front of the heart from the back of the heart. Posterior side of the heart shows lots of detail here. Vertical blood vessel on the posterior side. Anterior sh side shows a lot of ventricular muscle, not a lot of material here. And the anterior set of blood vessels run diagonally across the heart, parallel to this opposite side. So anterior, posterior. This is anterior, this is the right side of the heart. This is anterior, this is the left side of the heart. On the shoulders here, you find the two auricles, which are the outer walls of the atria. This is the left auricle, and this one right here is the right auricle. Okay. Inside the auricles are the chambers that we call the atria. There's a right atrium inside here, and a left atrium inside here. From the outer aspect of the heart, look for the blood vessels now up here between the two atria. The blood vessel here, coming right out of this hump, is the pulmonary trunk. This is the blood vessel. It'll carry blood pumped from the right side of the heart, maybe you can sort of see it here, and pump blood to the lungs, which is why it's called the pulmonary trunk. Just behind it is a very large blood vessel known as the aorta. The, this aorta is cut a little short. If there was more tissue here, we'd see it up and curving to the left, and it might even have a brachiocephalic or a subclavian, um, kind of like this heart over here. Right? This one has a pulmonary trunk here, and right behind it, the aorta. You can see the aorta here is long enough. It's curving to the left. And you can see the two branches here. The first branch would be brachiocephalic, and the next branch would be the subclavian, left subclavian. So, so pulmonary trunk and aorta. And then if you turn the heart to the posterior side, you can typically find a tube right here next to the right auricle, which is the superior vena cava. And right at the top of this posterior blood vessel, you should find an opening, which is the inferior vena cava. And this is sort of cut through here, which is not the greatest, but let's see if this one, this heart has, we always cut open the superior vena cava here, but this has got more of an intact inferior vena cava here. Notice you'll always find it right above the hole right there. Okay, so superior and inferior vena cava, and then somewhere here there will be an opening right behind the left auricle. It'll be the opening for the pulmonary veins. And that's of course, remember the pulmonary trunk here in the front was pumping blood out to the lungs. That blood is returning here to the left side of the heart, which is gonna pump that blood out the aorta. So those are your tubes, pulmonary trunk, and aorta, best seen from the front, and superior and inferior vena cava with pulmonary veins in the back. Okay, so once you've found these external structures, now go to the right-hand side of the heart, right atrium, or right auricle here. And when we cut this open, this is the inside of the right side of the heart. And right away you see the the membranes, the cusps of the tricuspid valve. You can see chordae tendinae and papillary muscles. Any place that chordae tendinae attach to the ventricular wall is a papillary muscle. All of the space here above the valve is going to be right atrium, and all of the space here below the valve is going to be right ventricle. The right ventricle continues off to the front of the heart here. And if we open this up, you can see how blood that's squeezed is going to have to go up this way. The valve is going to shut off the area there. And blood is going to come up this way towards the pulmonary trunk. And we've cut open the pulmonary trunk here so that you can see the little pouches of the pulmonary semilunar valve. And these pouches then catch blood that's been pumped into the trunk 
and prevent it from backing up into the ventricle on the right-hand side. So pulmonary semilunar valve. And uh, that's the right side of the heart. So you can follow blood flow from the vena cava into the atrium, from the atrium down through the valve into the ventricle, from the ventricle up across the front of the heart and out the trunk and the pulmonary semilunar valve, then preventing that blood from coming back from the trunk. That's the right side of the heart.